Hello everybody, this is Zax399. In this video, we're going to take a look at a peculiar game that I came across called The Valley in the Mind. Oh my god, guys, this is insane. Look at this glitchy shit. This is definitely the sign of a bad, a very, very poorly coded and poorly made game. This is what, this is the kind of AI I would expect in like a game guru game. Man, I don't know. This is bad. <laughs> this is an action indie game made by Generic Game Studios, a developer whose first published game on Steam is this game. Now, when you first play this game, it does look really, really bad. And I really don't understand why they're stuck, because the terrain here is... <laughs> Did you see that hit? Is the terrain here is... <laughs> yeah, that hit was, uh, that hit looked like some of the hits I experienced in Dead by Daylight. Like, I'm where I wonder how the hell the killer hit me from, like, 20 feet away. Yeah, I definitely got one of those hits in on that zombie. <laughs> and when you go and you look at the Steam page here, you see that it has 11 reviews. Only four of these reviews can be found. Each one of these reviews right now has a positive and exactly three hours on record. Things that make you go, hmm, what's going on here? We're gonna take a look at this game and find out if the valley in my mind at $7.99 is worth your money. We'll be back right after this. All right, welcome back everybody. As you can see, this is your introduction screen, the valley in my mind. We have options, we have play. We have a lot of different resolutions here. And I set mine to my monitor default 1080p. So you also have texture quality, a choice here of high, medium, or low, which I have set to high. And then an audio slider here see that does definitely control the overall game volume you also have a full screen on and off and that's it no other like custom keys or anything like that we're gonna go ahead and launch this game I have played this game a couple of quick times got destroyed but we see a portal here that you can't go through I assume that's how we wound up here and we got a JPG sky up above now it looks like you can see outside from out there, but I want to show you guys something here. It looks like you can see outside that will close in. A lot of these walls kind of cliff in. Now these AI mobs, as you can see, get stuck in the walls uh, really easily, and they will get stuck. And I'm going to sit here and shoot this thing. I started with 20 ammo. I'm down to 11, 10, 9. I dumped 11 bullets on this creature before it disappeared. I killed it, but it just immediately disappeared into the to the rock. Now here is your inventory. You have to hit G to come here. And you see all these weird like white things that you can't do anything with. Uh, really awkward kind of inventory system. I don't know what the gray things on the left do. You have two guns, the same gun, which I don't even have in my inventory. Just really bizarre. Now watch this I have equipped my dagger and then also look at this look at how it looks like you can see sky here but as we get closer this is what I'm talking about the uh, the fill-in of the terrain and and uh, you know walls and everything like that constantly making the game look just bizarre now watch this guy one hit with a knife and these things are down However, it takes 10 or 11 shots with a pistol to take him out. So, what, what is the per- uh, Right there, I killed two, two with one hit of my dagger. Yeah, dagger is a definitely OP in this game. And these things just keep coming. Like, you gotta watch these things too because they'll- 
once they get close to you, they'll like glitch around you as if they're trying to get closer or trying to get up your bunghole or whatever. And and we have a bright light down here, but when I come here, I see it's just a really awkward looking torch. It's really nothing that I can go collect or nothing there. It looks like there's something on top of that, but if I jump, it's just another weird light, kind of like the light in the water. Nothing that I can collect or anything. Usually these kind of games, you know, light. If I come over here, I already tried this once, I get stuck. But yeah, usually light in these kind of games represents, you know, a power up or something to collect or something like that. No, not in this game. So we have to come back around here, even though it looked like we could get up that trail. Be ready for more mobs. I don't see any right now though. So one thing you want to do if you do play this game is you definitely want to take these things out because otherwise there's going to be like a hundred of these things chasing you around. We got some kind of a thing right here that I can pick up with E and that looks like a really lame like campfire I guess. And then this book we can't do anything with either. Again it looks like you can go through this doorway but nope nothing there. So we'll go back out the same way we came. We did collect some black thing up there so if you were trying to figure out what the hell's up with this game, maybe you have this game, remember to pick up that black thing. I think it'll help you progress later on here. And then you get this uh, rock trail that winds down here. You don't have to worry about any mobs here as long as you took them all out before. Yeah, the first couple of times I tried to play this, uh, I tried to just run from everything. But, uh... They'll eventually kill you if you're not careful by doing that. It's easier just to take out your knife and wipe them out. Right up here, I believe there's some more mobs, yeah. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Whack. And then over here, we have another bright light in a pool of water. But if I go down there, all that will happen is those creatures will swarm me in the water and destroy me really quickly. Again, stuck in the environment. Okay, so these things are coming out of those dark doors, it looks like. First time I've noticed that. I guess those are mob spawners, I don't know. Those are dark doors. That would explain why we can't go in, into them. Come on, you want more? You want more of this? Come on out. What the? Oh my god. This is what I'm talking about. This is why this game is so freaking... Ah, it's frustrating as hell. But for some reason, for some reason, this game intrigues me. I don't know why. I don't know if this game is, like, so bad that it's good. Or it's just... There's just something here that makes me believe that the developer really wasn't trying to make a game to rip people off or make a quick buck. Something really makes me believe the developer was trying to make a good game. We're going to take out our grenade here. We only have one. But I want to see if I can blow the zombie up. We know he's going to come and get stuck in the wall trying to go through the wall to get to me. Like all good games have that great AI, right? Alright, take that. Oh shit, it bounced back. Boom! What an explosion. Did it kill it or is it still stuck there on the wall? Oh, it's dead. Okay. Well, we got our knife again here, so... This is like the fourth time I've played this game now and... It's so frustrating because anytime you die, you can die so quickly. Like I say, these zombies will glitch in behind you. And it's really hard to... Uh, to target them because your camera and stuff, your mouse sensitivity is so freaking crazy high. Ah, uh, come on. The one good thing about this game is, like, I think, like, if you survive and you don't get hit for, like, five or ten seconds, I believe you re go back to, like, full health. I think you really quickly regain your health. Unfortunately, there's no indicator of that. There's no health bar, there's no health number, nothing like that. And we'll pick up this thing again. Now if we come here and we hit escape, we see that it says some of the things we can do, like Z is a uh, you know special power, uh, Q to read books and, and uh, scrolls. I see a book on the ground here, 
but if I put my cursor on it and I hit Q, it doesn't do anything. Also, if I'm hitting the Z key right now and I don't see any kind of special ability or power up or whatever, there's there's nothing like that. So I don't know what the hell the uh, that thing is talking about. But we're gonna go back down the same trail. Sorry for making you motion sick here as I run down the trail, but ah, uh, this game, man. Look at the blur and the and the rocks and the walls and stuff. I mean, it's almost enough to make you sick. Let's try to get over here, like at the dead end, so that nothing can wind up behind me, and maybe try to take these mobs out this way. I just hope they're not gonna glitch up the back of the wall there. I mean, I just don't know. This is where I got killed just a minute ago. Yep, see, they're they're glitching over the rocks there. Right. Oh my god, there's like so many of these things. <laughs> I'm like killing like two and three of them at a time with my knife. It's insane. Oh my god, get out of there. Yeah, see, they're glitching in behind me like this guy. I'm almost dead. Yeah, I died again. I find it hard to believe that anybody honest played this game and was like so captivated by the amazing gameplay in this game that they're like, oh yeah, let's uh let's give it a positive review. This is a great game, especially with a price tag of eight bucks. And to be honest with you guys, I mean, my first few games uh, that I've developed have been made with Game Maker, you know, 2D games. And I think this game right here is what scares me about making my first 3D game. Because, I'll be honest, I don't want, I don't want my first game that I make to look anything like this. The AI is horrible. The, uh, not the resolution, just the, the blurring of the walls and the texture, texturing of, of everything as you move. Is, I killed two, two of them with one hit again there. And then I can't even hit some of these things just because they're glitching and spazzing out everywhere. Only no health bar, no, no UI. Um, a gun takes 10 or 12 hits to kill one of these things, whereas a knife kills them in one hit. This game is just really bizarre. Pick up this thing again. And, uh... Move back down this trail. Gonna make you motion sick again as I get down here and try to complete, like, the first level. Alright, let's, um, slow down right here. I don't want these things getting behind me, so I'm gonna stop right here. And see if we can take all these things out. I just hope that there's not an endless, like, swarm of them. I hope there's not a... a spawner, if you would. A spawner of these mobs up ahead that just continues to spawn mob... endless mobs unless you pass a certain... XY coordinate on the map or something. I'm kind of afraid that... It's just an endless spawner until you pass a certain point. But we're going to go ahead and try to take them all out. And if you time them right, you won't even get hit. If you time these... Like right there. Yeah, if you time these hits correctly. It seems to be working a little bit better. Like, stopped right here. Yeah, we still got, still got more coming here. Come here. Come on. Oh my god, they just continue to come. They're coming from the left up there and they're coming out. I killed I killed like three in one hit that time. This is insane. Yeah, one knife swing takes out three freaking zombies or whatever they are. Makes a lot of sense. Where are they freaks? Two, get, two that time with one hit. Oh my god, how many is this now? This is like 40 of them. I bet you I've killed 40 of these things in this one spot. Like, this is the only 
thing this game has going for it is like these enemy zombies, and I'm sure these are, I'm sure these are creatures that were purchased on a asset store somewhere. I don't think I've ever seen them in a game, but maybe somebody else has. You can let me know in the comments below if you've ever seen me see freaking creatures in another game, but I'm pretty sure that they are a purchased asset. And then again, we get that light in the water down there. I don't know if I should go check it out or not. I mean, I'm sure it's gonna be like the last one that has nothing down there. Yeah, see? There's nothing here. It's just a waste of time. I mean, I don't know why the, the light is so bright there as if it like beckons you to come, come check it out. And like I say, if you don't take out all those zombies like I did up, a, up above, the enemies will swarm you down in that water from all directions and kick your ass and you'll be dead before you even have a chance so all right this is the furthest I've got in this game so far and I only have three different directions to go okay um, let's just go straight I guess and look at this fade in and fade out of the the walls and shit Ugh. I mean, I think it would look really cool if we didn't have that texturing and the fade in and stuff. What the hell is that? And it doesn't tell me. It's just a red freaking block that glows and it hits, tells me to hit E by it. Uh, it's ridiculous. And again, another cave we can't go out. So, mobs were coming out of those like dark areas before. We can't go into them. But how come no mobs are coming out of that dark area this time? Just so many things that are unexplained in this game. It's like so freaking random. All right, let's go this way. Let's see what's over here. All right, a new room, I think. Oh, it looks a little bit familiar, though. Yeah, see, that's where I tried to go before. So I went two different directions and wound up in the same room. What? Okay, let's go back here. Hang on. We're gonna come to that split again up here. Yeah, see, it's right here. Okay, so we came down from here. This is to the right. That's straight. We've already went straight. Let's go this way. See if we wind up in the same room again. Yeah, see, it's this is the same freaking shit. Okay, what's this? Oh, e. We got a. I, I think that's supposed to be ammo and I got a, a shotgun now and then we have a note here All right, what is this? How do I get it? I can't I can't collect it. There's no E. Okay VB the university regrets to inform you that as of October 10th 2019 Your position has been discontinued after the near countless reports of misfirings and damaged artifacts in the archaeological storeroom which is allegedly due to the intoxication on the to I know, it's so a drunk on the job, huh? Intoxication on the job. Oh, no, whatever. Don't even care. Like this game makes a little sense. That that note definitely makes no sense either. Ah, <sighs> like again, these dark rooms. Like we saw forty freaking enemies come out of another one, and nothing's coming out of that one. Like, where's the consistency in this game, and why does every direction I go from the split lead to the same room? It's so freaking weird. Alright, so... There was one way we hadn't went up here, and that was going this way right here. Yeah. The only way we haven't went, it's the way where you have a little bar going down. It's to the right, basically. And again, another torch by water, but nothing down there. I don't want to get trapped by these freaking idiots. More dark areas that I know I can't walk into. That's interesting. We got some kind of glowy shit up there. Another path to my right there. I'm going to go towards the light. And of course, more idiots. <laughs> like, where's the variety in the mobs here? I mean... And they're kind of overkilling this, like sending so many of these bastards at you. It's ridiculous. I mean, once you get your knife out, these 
things go down so easy. The only problem you have is when they get you from behind. That's why I keep looking behind me here. And like I say, sometimes if they get close to you, they'll just glitch around you and keep hitting you. It's almost impossible to freaking kill them. Especially with your uncontrollable mouse sensitivity that you have no setting for whatsoever. Just pretty much everything in this game. Even though the graphics are okay, I guess. If you're not moving, the graphics are okay. It's when you move that everything's like... Bleh, bleh, bleh. But if you just see still shots of the game, you know, screenshots, you'd be like, wow, this looks like a pretty nice looking game. Look at the textures, look at the rocks. The enemies look cool. But it's not until you actually try to play the game that you realize how freaking bad it is. I don't want to fall off the edge here. I mean, I'm curious to look down, but I don't want to fall off and get stuck. I'm sure that would never happen in a quality game like this, though. And again, yeah, another, another dark area there. And look at the pop-up on that. Look at the pop-up of these mushroom things. But at least we have a different enemy. I want to make sure I'm not getting attacked from behind again. We got some kind of electricity uh. shit up there. Oh, these things shoot electricity at you. The mushroom guys shoot freaking red electricity shit. Ah, frick. Oh, these, are guys, these guys are darker. Oh, these guys are stronger version of the, uh, the first idiots. So these guys only have to hit you a couple of times and... You're down. Nice. That's one way to really, you know, increase the challenge in a game is uh, if at first you can't send 40,000 zombies to kill you, let's just make them OP as shit and kill you in just a couple of hits. Don't give you any kind of armor or shielding or anything to protect yourself. Just have these glitchy bastards. Come on! See, that's what I'm talking about, the glitching around you. Yeah, but they they can't increase the challenge enough by sending 40,000 of these bastards at you. Just almost unlimited mobs at you. So then they try to increase the challenge by making things these things do insane damage in one hit. I just wish this game had... Like motion blur? I wish I could turn the motion blur off. I think if I could turn the motion blur off, it would help a lot. With the, uh, whatever game. And then I wish you could, like, control your mouse sensitivity as well. See, look at this blurring. It's freaking nasty shit. Can we pick the thing up from over here? Yep, we can. Oh, and continue our way down the same goddamn path again. Alright guys, I'm going to try this one more time, and if I die, I am done. I'm done with this freaking blurry ass, insanely poor quality game. Like I say, I, I, I really believe that the developer here tried to make a fun game. I don't think this is a developer just trying to rip people off. I don't know. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think this developer really tried to make a fun game, or do you think he's just, you know, putting together something really quickly and trying to rip people off? Let me know down in the comments below if you're watching this video, you know, especially if you watch this whole thing. I think I've been playing like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes already. It feels like an hour, but I, I don't know how long it's been. This is just not fun. I mean, I. I'm intrigued to try to figure out what the hell happens if I get to the end of this nightmare, but... <sighs> and right here, what is the purpose of sending just 50 freaking monsters at you? I hit two with one. Two with one swing there. Yeah, the game makes a lot of sense. It takes 11, 12 bullets to kill one, but one swing of a knife can take out three like I just killed there. Three mobs with one swing of a knife, as long as they're close together. Ay, ay, ay. So if you if you do buy this game or you have this game or whatever, if you stop like right here by like some rocks on the right hand side, which I'll try to show you in a second. But if you stop like right at this point here, it looks like the best way to take all these bastards out. 
<laughs> like how that guy's just like stuck up in the air. Oh my god. Yep, they're still coming in from the left there, glitching over the rocks. Come on. Come get me. <laughs> this just looks ridiculous. And like I say, this is why I'm so scared to make like my first 3D game in like Unity or whatever. I'm so scared that it'll wind up like this with mobs trying to, you know, come at me through walls and getting stuck and, and glitching around looking like freaking spasmodic idiots. I don't know. Of course, if I did make this game, I don't think I would try to sell this on Steam, of all places, for eight bucks. I mean, I would hope that I would, you know, not be so biased of, with my own game that I actually tried to sell this game for eight bucks. I really think some, some fishy crap is going on as well. Okay, so we know that no matter if I go forward or left here, I go to the same goddamn room. And Wines went onto the same room, and there's that shotgun and this red thing that I gotta pick up. Or no, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the, the the shotgun and stuff is up here. Yeah, I just came from in from the different direction. Yep. Same room. So no, at that intersection, no matter if you go forward or left, you wind up in the same room. Yep, there's the same note. And the way to proceed is going to the right, but I think you do want to come up to this room and at least get that red thing. I don't know why I think it's important, but it probably is. Alright, so now if we come back and we go to the right from where we was, it's that it's right there where you can see the, the little um, thing going down in the middle. The wall, cave wall going down right there in the middle, which it does fade in as you get closer. Yeah, I, I have no idea why this game is intriguing me though, or why I want to... why I'm playing this for more than five minutes, to be honest with you. Oh, come on! Quit glitching around, you freaking bastard. God damn it, I do not want to die here again. I'm dead- if I die again, guys, I'm, oh my god. If I die again, I'm giving up. Yeah, I've about had enough. I've about had all this I can take. Die. Die, you bastards. Die. Like, their only chance at not dying is just, like, glitching around you. And that's what's hard, is you don't know where they're gonna glitch. Like, where they're gonna- if they're gonna glitch through to the other side of you and keep attacking you. It's almost, they're so unpredictable when they get close. Glitching all around, it makes it hard, it makes them hard to hit. You combine that with a mouse sensitivity being way too high. This is easy though because they just keep, they're all taking the exact same path, so targeting these guys at this spot right here is pretty easy. The thing is, you have to be in the exact right spot. I want to look over this thing and see what's down here. Up, oh, full of water. Yeah, I guarantee you if I fall in that water, I probably won't die from the falling, but I bet you I will not be able to get out. Same thing there. You can you can tell that if I fall down there, I'm gonna be stuck. I'm not gonna go and prove it, but because I don't want to start over again, and I don't want to have to alt F4 to, to escape the game just because I'm freaking stuck. All right, we're gonna um try to shoot these guys, maybe? Okay, wait a minute. I have a shotgun, but... God damn it, let me grab the shotgun and see if I can use it. I picked up some ammo and a shotgun. I believe those little black things are ammo. And... Okay, so here, we have it, but we don't have... I'm hitting R. I don't have any ammo for this thing. So the ammo clips by the shotgun were for my pistol. I guess. Or not. Wait a minute. I might try to sh throw this grenade and hit some of these bastards. Hmm. No, oh, I didn't throw it far enough. God damn it. The bad thing is, it only gives you one of the things. Did I at least kill a mushroom guy? 
Did I at least kill the mushroom guy? Alright, so maybe I need to grab this ammo, drag it over here. Yeah, but see, that's a uh, pistol ammo. And this, I have no idea what the hell that is. <sighs> oh my god. Yeah, see, I still have no freaking ammo for my shotgun. Alright, so I guess we'll try to shoot these things with our pistol. These, these are the more powerful things up here, so I'm wondering if maybe they have a weakness too. Nope, I didn't kill the mushroom guy with my grenade. And oh my god, look at these things glitching, guys. Look at these glitchy bastards. They can't get to me because they're like getting stuck on the rock and they're just glitching and spazzing all over. And I'm not hitting these things, I don't think. Oh my god. How is anybody giving this game a positive review? How is anybody insane enough to leave this game running for as long as I have? Surely these guys are just opening the game and leaving it running in the taskbar. They're not really playing this game for three hours, are they? Okay, this guy's glitching over this way. I can take him out. If these guys continue to glitch at me from... I'm worried about that thing shooting lightning at me, though. But if they continue to glitch at me one at a time... I might be able to get past these fuckers. See? Lightning glitching even as well. You can't even see the path or shooting lightning. It's just like lightning glitching in front of you. There's another one. Oh my god, guys. This is insane. Look at this glitchy shit. This is definitely the sign of a bad, a very, very poorly coded and poorly made game. This is what, this is the kind of AI I would expect in like a Game Guru game. Man, I don't know, this is bad. <laughs> I don't know what to do here guys, I just hope they glitch over here. We got one on the right there that's trying to get over me, but he can't even get to me. He's stuck in the freaking rock. Like I understand the developer doesn't want to have these things just sliding over these areas where they're kind of getting caught in the rock, but... Man, this is so bad. I'm just swinging my knife to see if I can accidentally, like, glitch out myself and hit them. <laughs> they are getting to me one at a time. I know that I can't get too close. If I get too close, they're gonna... They're gonna kill me so quickly. Look at this guy on the right. I mean, he's just stuck in place trying to run at me. I mean, he's trying to move his XY coordinates closer to me, but... He can't. He's stuck on the rock, just like all these other guys trying to glitch their way over to me. And I really don't understand why they're stuck, because the terrain here is... <laughs> Did you see that hit? Is The terrain here is... <laughs> yeah, that hit was... Uh, that hit looked like some of the hits I experienced in Dead by Daylight. Like, I'm where I wonder how the hell the killer hit me from like 20 feet away. Yeah, I definitely got one of those hits in on that zombie. <laughs> And what is that? What the hell is that? Like again, the lightning glitching all over the place. Like you don't see the lightning move from these. I understand those mushroom things are shooting me, but it doesn't look good at all. <laughs> I I I don't know what to do here, guys. I wanna I wanna be able to beat this level, and I have a feeling I'm close, but. I gotta find a way to get around these guys. I don't want to just try to move around them to the right because then I'm gonna get over stuck in the rocks and they're all gonna come at me at once and I'm gonna be dead. Oh my god, these guys. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. These guys look like they're all jacked up on Mountain Dew. Too much Mountain Dew for these OP zombies here. Wow. These guys are... Okay, they're getting a little bit closer. <laughs> Look at these things spazzing out. Oh my god. <laughs> Mothers, don't let your kids drink too much Mountain Dew. See, the lighting looked like it hit the zombies there. Like, leave me alone, you bastard. <laughs> this is... Mothers, don't let your kids drink too much Mountain Dew, or this is what will happen to your kids. I tried to get a hit in there. Alright, you got one guy here. If I can continue to get them to spaz out. 
That's why you see me moving left and right and stuff like that, but... Oh, screw it, guys. We're just gonna go for it here. See, I missed the hit there. I was hoping I could take, like, eight of them out with that swing. Oh! I think I would have got, like, eight of them in one swing, but they hit me first. Like, they all hit me at the same time. All right, guys. I This is my rage moment. I can't handle any more of this game. Maybe my morbid curiosity will make me try it again, but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. This is Zach Nine. Take care.